Hi, I'm Simon Crook, Secondary E-Learning Advisor in the Southern Region. I'm also a physics teacher and have been running some science lessons for years five and six from St. Felix Bankstown using a lab next door at LaSalle College. Year five had been studying a cross-curricular unit on gold. They had learned about the gold rushes of California and Australia and about alluvial gold and how to pan for it. Now the chemistry of gold is not particularly exciting, but the extraction of other metals is. The students, all dressed up in their lab coats and goggles, performed an electrolysis experiment to electroplate five cent coins with copper extracted from copper sulfate solution. Now this is a year 11 or year 12 experiment, certainly requiring secondary school's equipment. However, we were fortunate enough to have access to the lab at LaSalle College next door, thanks to Principal Mick Egan, plus the most amazing lab technician in the form of Margaret Croucher. No paper instructions or worksheets were issued. Instead, students recorded myself performing the procedure using their school's iPads and photographed the equipment and diagrams on the boards to assist them in carrying out the experiment themselves. More importantly, they filmed themselves performing the experiment. In follow-up lessons back at primary school, the students would be using the video footage to help write up the experiment as a literacy activity. And with a bit, with a bit of spare time at the end of a great science lesson, what more motivating activity could we do than take science selfies? Some of the feedback from the students included, I've learned that when the copper and the coin touched, the light bulb turned brighter. I learned that electricity can run through copper sulfate solution. And an impromptu bit of knowledge creation, some uses of titanium, once it has been extracted, is to put it in aircraft and the replacement of hip joints. In my humble opinion, this is authentic learning in science. The students' cross-curricular units of study determined the experiments, and the experiments themselves added an element of fun. The learning was in real-world context. Just because the students are in primary school, there's no reason why they shouldn't engage in higher-order scientific inquiry and experimentation. In fact, they loved the fact that they were performing senior science experiments. Time wasn't wasted copying out instructions, Instead, students used the iPads with which, they, with which they were very au fait, recorded the experimental procedure, and photographed the apparatus. Again, using the iPads, they recorded themselves performing the experimental method and also recorded the results. And, as is mentioned, what could be more fun and relevant to students in the alien environment of a secondary school lab than taking science selfies? A concept I thought I was inventing, only to find out there was a whole Twitter hashtag already functioning. I'm extremely grateful to uh, Michael Egan, the principal of LaSalle, Margaret Croucher, lab technician at LaSalle, Lisa Harrow, principal of St. Felix, the year five and six teachers at St. Felix, and of course, the year five and six students themselves.